So first, let's get Twitter data into the tool. So before we actually start, we need to create a Twitter account if you don't already have one. Then we're going to create a Twitter app and make sure that when you're creating your Twitter account or just update your existing Twitter account, you need to make sure that you assign a phone number to the, um, to the account. Otherwise, you won't be able to create the Twitter app and you need the Twitter app. So I'll walk you through all the steps needed here. And then we're going to install a few packages in R and run a few lines of code to start pulling in tweets. It's really no big deal and it's very straightforward and I'm really, really excited to show you. All right, so what we have to do now is create a Twitter app. And if we go to app.twitter.com, you can see that you don't currently have any Twitter apps and I've logged in. So what we're going to do is click on create new app and we're going to give it a name. I'll call it k.a.t.e.123. Um, the description will be to get Twitter data. I'll use my website and for callback URL, we'll just use 127.0.0.1. Uh, you can read through the Twitter development agreement, select yes, and create your Twitter application. You can see now your application has been created. Please take a moment to review and adjust your application settings, which we can do here. Basically, this is the data that we're going to need to input into R as we're installing packages. Okay. Now that we've successfully created the Twitter app, we can start to install a few um, packages in R. Basically, the first package that we need to install is called Twitter, and it's all lowercase except the last R. Um, you need to make sure that you have the correct capitalization, otherwise it won't work. So the code that you need is install.packages, parentheses, quotation marks, Twitter, capital R, close, quotation, close, parentheses. And now we can load the package by using the library command, library, and then you put Twitter. Additionally, we need to install and load the R curl package. Again, pay attention to the capitalizations. It's capital R, capital C, lowercase u, R, L. And then the same way like we did before, we're gonna need to run the library. And the way we actually run it, we can actually just click here or select run. Or if you can see here, you can run the current line by hitting control plus enter. So I'm going to go ahead and run this code and I'm going to go ahead and run this code. One thing to note is anywhere that you see on the screen um, a line of code that starts with a pound or hash sign, that means this is a comment and we're not running this code. This is just for your information. So using the data that we gather from Twitter, um, from the app, Twitter app's website, basically the API key, the API secret, the access token, and the access token secret, which was located in the Twitter app website. Um, I have mine here. Basically, what you need to do is you need to create a line of code that says API underscore key text. And I've actually included this code in the description for you. You're just going to have to replace it with your specific keys and tokens. And then there's a fifth line of code that's set up Twitter authorization. It basically, you're giving Twitter the authorization. I'm going to go ahead and control enter, control enter, control enter, control enter. I'm going to go ahead and run this code. And we're going to go ahead and say one. And one means we're authorizing um, Twitter to give us data. And now we can actually download some tweets. So let me just make this a little bit bigger for you to see. Now, the way we're going to look for tweets, we're going to look for something that says data science to see what we can get from Twitter. So this is the line of code, data scientist tweet, search Twitter for data science. The N, we can do 10, we can do 100, we can do 1,000. Um, let's just do 1,000 in this case. We're going to say that the language is EN for English, and we go ahead and run that code. And now in order to see the data, we need to just say data scientist tweets because that's what we called it. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to give it a second and it's going to run. We're going to have our Twitter data. There it is. If you see on the bottom, let me just scroll this up. Here we have the 1000 tweets that we requested and we can pick any at random and we can see it says here business survival rates with Python hashtag data science. 
So wherever it says data science, that means it pulled in those tweets. I think it is pretty awesome. And in a follow-up video, I'm going to show you how we can start to analyze this data. Thank you for watching.